Hello and welcome to this first online worship of 2021. It's so good to have you with us. And as we heard the news this week of more lockdown to come, the worship team would like to reassure you that we will do our very best to bring these weekly services to you and to bring messages of light and hope each week. And it's good for us to know as well that you are here with us, worshipping and praying in this online community. Today's worship is another first for us. It's an online covenant service. And in the Methodist tradition, the covenant service is one where we get the chance to renew our promise to serve God in the coming year ahead. And later on, Katie will be leading us through that special covenant promise. Now it does say on our Methodist website that this service is a gift, it's not a demand. So all are welcome, but equally you are welcome to join in or just to sit and watch. In a moment of quiet now, let's light a candle as we prepare for our worship today. Lord of light and life, unlooked for and searched for, longed for and prayed for, loving God come to us now. Amen. After the interview with King Herod, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. The reading we have just heard is associated with that time in the Christian calendar that we call Epiphany. And we've heard the familiar story of the Magi following that special star to bring them to the Christ child and each offering their own unique gift to Jesus. And so it is with our covenant service that we have the opportunity to offer our own unique skills and gifts to help bring God's kingdom into our world. And this is echoed in our first hymn today, where we hear the words, all our costliest treasures bring, Christ to thee, our heavenly King.
let us pray. Gracious God, on this day, I and many others come to renew our covenant with you. Your love is strong and faithful. You never stop loving us. However, our love for you is sometimes weak and fickle, and there are times when we fall short of what we have committed ourselves to be and to do. Forgive us for our reluctance to follow Christ, our half-hearted worship, our failures in caring, service and witness and our unwillingness to challenge injustice. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Give me the joy of your help again and strengthen me with a willing spirit. Have mercy on us, O God, and renew us both the desire and the ability to be people of love. Thank you for your gracious words. Your sins are forgiven. We turn back to you again and lean into your ever open arms. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our reading today is Jeremiah 31 verses 33 to 34. This is the new covenant I will make with the people of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my instructions deep within them, and I will write them on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. And they will not need to teach their neighbours, nor will they need to teach their relatives, saying, You should know the Lord. For everyone, from the least to the greatest, will know me already, says the Lord, and I will forgive their wickedness, and I will never again remember their sins. Amen. Some years ago, I asked a congregation who had made their New Year's resolutions. I was quite shocked when no one put their hands up. I'd always given much thought to my resolutions and started the new year with much determination. But now I understand why there were no hands up. They, resolutions are seldom kept and often lead to a sense of failure. Perhaps it's the wisdom of age that's helped me to let them go. What I now really look forward to instead is our Methodist Covenant prayer. Instead of focusing on the new year being perfect and on my being perfect, both of which I've learned to accept are unlikely to happen, this beautiful, albeit challenging prayer invites us to an ever deepening relationship with God and a humble trust in Jesus. Some use this prayer in September, but we've tended to use it now in January. It seems such a fitting response to the incredible news of the Incarnation. After the yes of Mary, the response of the shepherds, and the wise men who discern, search and adore, this is our opportunity to say yes again, to respond to God's promise of steadfast and unconditional love. The prayer was written by John Wesley in 1755 to encourage people to open themselves to God more fully and hear God's offer of love and challenge afresh. But the invitation to covenant relationship has been a constant throughout scripture. Covenant was rooted in hesed, the Hebrew word which describes God's persistent and unconditional tenderness, kindness and mercy, and his commitment to us. The prayer recognises that life won't be perfect, but we reaffirm our commitment, we renew our faith. We offer our lives knowing that in all things God will be with us, 
held in that relationship of ultimate love and trust. Of course, we hope that 2021 will be better than the year that has passed. And it's not about ignoring our hopes and dreams. The prayer just helps us and challenges us to place those hopes in tune with God's will, knowing that what he wants for us is the best for us. As Jesus says, life in all its fullness. The special thing for me about this prayer is that whilst on one level it's very personal, it's always said together as a community of faith, knowing that we too will be there for one another in the ups and downs as we've tried to be in the past year, and that we will pray for one another as we seek to make, keep and live out this prayer. One of the things that's also helped me deepen my desire to share in this prayer is looking back and seeing how God's light and love have sustained and strengthened and guided me through all that has passed. Whilst 2020 is a year that we might wish to forget, I wonder if we can look back and see where there was love and light in the midst of the darkness with confidence and the assurance of faith. I invite you to join me in, in a moment to share in that prayer our yes to a deepening relationship with God and with one another and a sharing of his love in our communities. As we step out into 2021, May we seek to embody the full meaning of the covenant, which is to allow God's will to be written on our hearts, knowing that he will sustain us in faith, hope and love. Amen. I will offer up my life in spirit and truth Pouring out the oil of love as my worship to you In surrender I must give my every part Lord receive the sacrifice of a broken heart Jesus what can I give? What can I bring to so faithful a friend, to so loving a king? Savior, what can be said, what can be sung as a praise of your name for the things you have done? Oh, my words could not tell, not even in part. Of the debt of love that is owed by this thankful heart. You deserve my every breath, for you have paid the great cost, giving up your life to death. Even death on a cross You took all my shame away There defeated my sin Opened up the gates of heaven And have beckoned me in Jesus, what can I give? Or what can I bring? To so faithful a friend To so loving a king Savior, what can be said, what can be sung As a praise of your name for the things you have done All my words could not tell, not even in part Of the debt of 
love that is owned by this thankful heart. Let us make this covenant of God our own. Let us give ourselves to him, trusting in his promises and relying on his grace. Eternal God, in your faithful and enduring love, you call us to share in your gracious covenant in Jesus Christ. In obedience we hear and accept your commands. In love we seek to do your perfect will. With joy we offer ourselves anew to you. We are no longer our own, but yours. And so we share in these words. I am no longer my own, but yours. Your will, not mine, be done in all things. Wherever you may place me, in all that I do and in all that I may endure. When there is work for me and when there is none. When I am troubled and when I am at peace. Your will be done when I am valued and when I am disregarded. When I find fulfilment and when it is lacking. When I have all things and when I have nothing, I willingly offer all I have and am to serve you as and where you choose. Glorious and blessed God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, you are mine and I am yours. May it be so forever. Let this covenant now made on earth, be fulfilled in heaven. Amen. Shall we join together in prayer? Let us pray. In you, Jesus, we recognise what a human life can be. We see the possibilities and we are inspired by the call. As we pray to you today, 
We remember that we join with the millions in our world who seek to make a difference. But we know we cannot go in our strength alone. So we pray for ourselves. That your spirit will fill us and your life will empower us. That we may be true to the promises we make to ourselves and to you. We pray for our families, friends and communities. That your love may bind us and your compassion flow through us. That we may be a source of healing and renewal to one another. We pray for our nation and leaders that your wisdom may guide us and your truth inspire us, that we may learn to see and hear you in each other and may find a way to care and provide for every person. We pray for our world and its peoples, that your peace may spread and your purpose be fulfilled among us, that we may work to embody and establish your kingdom, and may be faithful stewards to the earth you have given us. Amen. Wherever you are, join with us all in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for being with us today in this first service of 2021. If you want to learn more about the Covenant Service or if you just want to send us a message or maybe you have a prayer request for our prayer team, please remember you can contact us via our website and the details will be on the screen at the end. And now a blessing as we go into the week ahead. May the God of heaven and earth bless us and keep us. May his face shine upon us, that we may know God's peace and live in ways to reflect his love, now and always. Amen.